are celebrating his latest album, Across the Sheets, on our iHeart Country album release party. It is available everywhere now. Hashtag iHeartBrettYoung. I'm your host, Brooke Taylor. And I got to tell you, tickets, they're on sale if you guys don't know his upcoming Dance With You tour. That kicks off on September 14th. Also on the road, no big deal with Sam Hunt right now. That's got to be exciting. <laughs> so much fun, yeah. Two, two girl dads just hanging out on the road together. I was just going to say, that has to bond you guys pretty close together a little bit. Just, I mean, entering this different phase of life together has got to be really cool to experience together. A lot of music, um, a lot of fun, and a little bit of sleep. <laughs> I was just going to say, nobody gets to see the behind the scenes of, like, not getting to sleep with toddlers. Especially, I mean, you've been bringing the girls on the road with you, right? Yeah, they've been coming out a bit. I, I got to give this to Sam. He's, he's had his, young, or his firstborn out pretty much every weekend. Yeah. Um, my wife... They're about to have a second as well. My, my wife has both of ours, and she's like, I'll come when it works, you know? So, and, and I, God bless her for that. I totally get it. Also, it's really hard for me to wake up at 6 a.m. with the babies and not go on stage until like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So when she's uh, feeling like she doesn't want to come, I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss you, but I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get a good night's sleep. There's nothing like that, right? That might be the next single. There you go. There you go. I can sleep without you. How about that? Ooh, I might, I might can get divorced if I write that oh, one. Oh, yes, that's so, so true. Well, I want to talk to you, kind of rewind about a little bit of the conversation we had about you hearing, you know, a song that impacted you so much for the first time on the radio and now getting to put that into your album. What about you? Tell us how it felt when you heard your song for the first time on the radio. That had to have been special. Yeah, it was really cool. There's this process when you do what we call radio tour. Like you get your record deal and you and you put you finish your record and you decide what your first single is. You go on radio tour, you visit like every radio station over the course of it's crazy, like 8 or 9 months. And there's like 167 or whatever. I think we got through like 120 of them. Yeah. Um, and they'll always be really kind and like after you go into the studio to do your interview, they'll say, "And when you leave, we're going to put it on so you can hear it in the car." That is always cool, but the first time you hear it by accident is always the coolest one. And uh, I'll never forget, um, right here in Southern California, the first time I got to play Stagecoach, um, my album had just come out. My, I'm sorry, not even my album, my single, Sleep Without You, had just come out. And we played Stagecoach, we were like on at noon, it was 115 degrees, and it was windy and nobody was there yet. I didn't care because we were playing Stagecoach. And then uh, my parents still lived in Orange County at the time, so we were driving back to Orange County, and we drove past, uh, like, the Palm Desert area, yeah. and it came on. And I remember thinking, my thought was, all these cars that are listening to country radio don't know, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right, hey, guys, it's me. You know, it was a really, really cool experience. That is seriously cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight, Brett. The album Across the Sheets is available right now. I am your host, Brooke Taylor, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you one more time, Brett Young. Thank you.